Hey everybody, welcome to Street Freeze Garage Day and thank you guys very much for stopping on by. Today we're going to be once again attacking the Christine Project, so check it out. Come along with us here and let's get to work. Alright guys, we're going to get rid of some of this rust up here. Let this panel go on the inside so we don't have to deal with all this crap later. So, let's hit it. I can see through. Edge off here first. the rest of this rough get this all grind down we had to put a patch right back here i'll show you that in just a little bit patch there patch here we'll grind that down get the rest of this rust off here right now so we can rust coat that new piece right now that goes along the bottom right here and this will go all the way to here to the back of the door and then the new inner rocker that we made or excuse me the uh rocker top here that will go in next, right along here so we'll cut all this lower so it's going to be rebuilt here when we get to that but for right now we're going to focus on this piece right here get this piece in get it to the inner rocker and we'll be good to go. So we will uh, come back at you as soon as we get a little bit further along. So. All right, hey guys. I'm going to go ahead and take us through and show you real quick what we did today on the uh, lower quarter panels and the rockers for the uh, Christine project. So I'll take in, I showed you a little bit earlier some of the clips about what we did internally. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through some of the patchwork that we did today. So you can see we put this patch in right here. This is the new patch here. We got all the primer on there. And we left the top rail for this right here because this was all in really good shape, um, except for the patch right here that we had to put underneath this uh, for the window bracket here. So we fabbed all this piece right here. This is out of 18 gauge. I do believe the factory piece that was here was probably 20. But we fabbed this out of 18 gauge. So this is nice and strong. 
This is going to tack weld to the inner rocker right back here. It's going to, or spot weld rather to the inner rocker right there. And this is just a support that's typically cut off like right in here uh, from the factory. So that's where we cut it off there too. So um, I'm going to go ahead and weld all this up, this whole top here along here. Weld all that up solid. I'm not going to tack this in just yet because I want to make sure and get the inner rocker all um, weld it in nice and solid from the inside first before I do that. I mean, it's pretty much all tacked in there right now, but I want to make sure everything fits before we go ahead and finalize everything. So you'll see always hide here. This has kind of got a little scale surface rust on it and everything. And I went ahead and sandblasted, excuse me, not sandblasted, but the wire wheel up in here today, up inside of here. This is a lot of like surface rust starting on this stuff in here on the components in here. So I did that. And we are going to go ahead and take this quarter up a little bit higher yet. I do want to take a little bit more out of this quarter. We had a dent right here, and I'm not that worried about the dent. I think we can get rid of it, but we do have a little crease right here. Um, but, you know, right here, this section here, all the way back, is getting replaced off a four-door uh, donor car. So the four-door quarter panel will come through here, right down here into the dog leg area, and then we're going to take one of the four-door rear doors and cut a section out to use it on the quarter panel right here um, to patch that. So... That'll all be taken care of. Now, one thing we did when we did tack all this metal on here, the 18 gauge inside, and I'm gonna see if I can get a flashlight here, or excuse me, a, a regular shop light here and show you guys a little bit about what we did and how we did that inside there. My light unhooked here, okay. Now if you look inside here, you'll see it's all primed in there. We primed all that inside there. So it's nice and clean, no rust going on there. There's well, there's primer right there where the two pieces of metal are gonna to touch each other. Um, we got etching primer on that. And that's how we did that part. Now, move up here to the top piece here. These right here, which we call the rocker tops, uh, not rocky tops, but the rocker tops rather. Um, our inner, the, the original ones were pretty rough shape, so um, we could have fudged them, uh, welded them up, did a whole bunch of patchwork to them to try to basically save a rocker top that was not very good to start with. So rather than do that, um, took it up on myself to do a whole lot of labor and we was able to bend on our metal brake, brand new rocker tops for this, all to the factory bent. These match up identical to the factory piece that we cut out of here with all the factory bends on the ends and they do line right up. Now, one thing I was going to do is butt weld it in here right up to the seam right here. I was going to butt weld in here and butt weld it back here. But I decided not to. I really wanted the strength and rigidity. So what I did, and there's a factory seam right here anyways. There's normally a factory seam right there and normally a factory seam up here on the front which runs right along here anyways. And these are normally covered by the sill plate anyways once it's all done and finished. But I wanted the strength, and so what I did is um, I cleaned everything up underneath here, um, the rear section of the car. This has all been wired. Um, all the rust has been removed off here and primer put on the bottom of this piece, as well as primer put on the bottom of the cowl piece here from underneath. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of primer on top of all of this as I take this back up before I put this in. And if you glance up underneath, I'm gonna take you underneath there, you'll see that this has all already been primed and painted underneath here. So it's all really clean underneath there. So it's all been primed and painted. So what I'm gonna do up here is I'm gonna take and cut this uh, rocker here, the rocker top that we made has a nice high edge on it so it can be trimmed off evenly. So I'm gonna make a mark from here all the way back to the lower section here and I'm gonna cut a straight line across there and cut that down so that's nice and flush. I think before I weld that in there. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill through the top here. I'm gonna do some spot welds from the top. As many spot welds as I can and weld this the best I can from the top. Um, and then when I flip the car over on a rotisserie, I'll go ahead and get it really good from the bottom and weld it up really good um, even where it, where it goes through. Now, you'll notice right here, this piece right here is pretty bad. And we're going to go ahead and cut all this off here. But right now it's just kind of there for placement of the back. 
because um, we do got the outer rocker here that's going to go on. This is all one piece rocker that's going to go on and goes all the way to the back section. So I'm going to go ahead and give you just a comb through a little working area here we got going right now. I mean, it's kind of a pain in the butt and a mess, but you know, we got to do what we got to do. I got to take the wheel off the back on the other side because we're working on that. We're going to be working on the wheel well area right back in here cutting a new piece for that because of course that's bad on the other side as well so we're going to go and work on that so i'm going to show you the rocker tops uh that i have that we're making and um see what you guys think all right guys so i wanted to show you this this is the rockers that uh we're going to make in here for the rocker tops and this is what you have right here the new section that we're making we make it a little bit taller than what the factory one is here so it can be cut off or trimmed at whatever height you need it to be once you get it finally fitted in the car ready to go you can see it lines up really really nice with the factory and this is all 20 gauge steel um, which is uh, to the best of my knowledge what i seen when i mic'd this factory piece it was 20 gauge makes for a really nice installation you know and you can do it however you want you could do it like we did where we kind of did a uh, put it underneath uh, the existing cowl in the rear section, or you can cut it and just do a butt weld as well uh, up to what you have existing. So if you have a section of yours that's still good so far in and you want to cut it and butt weld the new piece in, you can do that. Just fit like a glove. So we do our best we can to get them bent as uh, accurately as possible. Um, Cause I hate to get something that just doesn't fit when you put it, you know, go to put it in and, so if you guys are uh, looking for a set of these rocker tops or know anybody looking for a set of rocker tops, shoot us a message or comment in the video down below and um, we'll let you know how you can get a set from us. Uh, let me know if you need it in need of a set of those and uh, we do have them. And like I said, they're all bent to the 57, 58 Plymouth um, factory bend right off, based off of this factory piece right here. Did a full weld around it right there. Attach it to the inner rocker right there. Got to go inside it and cut the inner rocker down just a little bit yet after we shaped all that. Cut the lower cowl section out right there to allow for the new outer rocker to go on. And the inner rocker and the rocker top is joined up nice along the top. And it work out really well. So that side is pretty good. Underneath you can see everything is um, primered and the bottom of the rocker top has all been painted primered and painted to protect that and we're going to go through and paint everything up under here once it's all done to prevent any rust from developing in the future all been primered and inside there as well so now it's just time to grind these welds down and uh, get this looking pretty all right guys here we are back again checking in and uh, we got the uh, welds all ground down now for this um, rocker top that we put in there. So we're going to take in and show you a little bit of that. Uh, worked out really well, fit really nice. Um, we're going to go ahead, of course, and trim out all of this area in here. It's all going to get cut out, new pieces put in here. Um, but yeah, this welded up really nice. I wanted to keep a factory seam there. I got to do a little bit more grinding on there. I want to get that nice and clean um, all the way along to the front right up here. Uh, welded it into the cowl here smooth that out a little bit and the new rocker the new outer rocker is going to go on right here and i think what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to make a cut along here since a new rocker has that top piece um made right into that all right guys we're looking at the driver's side of the car now and as you can see this rear um, inner wheel well lip right here in the back was gone just like the other side and it's still gone up here further which we're going to go ahead and rebuild that more as we start moving up the car more and up the quarters to replace the quarters in here on the window bracket you'll see the uh, nuts were stripped out on here we had to um, cut those out cut along the bracket bend that up we're going to put some new square nuts underneath here fold these flaps back down weld them back up and that'll be for the window bracket for the driver's side the new piece has all been fabbed already and clamped in place going to be welded all the way along the bead here all along on top and then of course spot welded along the bottom as well okay we just kind of did 
the patch for this area here. I don't know how much light over here. I'm sorry. That, which I showed you earlier. This is just still tack welded. I got to go find a weld that. Then I'm going to go ahead and put the um, rocker top in all the way in on this side, um, which I got all the cleaning to do yet, which I think I shot a video on that earlier. So not a big deal. So I'll definitely check back with you guys as I get some of that done. Like I said, I got a well lot of welding and grinding to do. So I'm going to have to get back to work. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and sand all this right here. Sand all this inner rocker down so we can kind of get some primer on there. And we're just going to scuff it up. Okay. All right. And I got a rag here somewhere. Where, ouch. There it is. All right. Take that off really good. Good to roll. Okay, today we're gonna use the one that we use quite frequently is the DuPont self etching primer. So get a thin coat of primer on this. We're gonna get into the crevices here a little bit and a lot of this will be cut off. So we're not gonna worry too much about some of that. There we go. I think that'll be good. There we go. We'll leave that, let that set up real quick. We'll go out and get the piece that's gonna go from here to here. We'll get that set up for the rocker top that we produce. All right guys, I think we're gonna be able to give you a bird's eye view putting this rocker top in. We've got the back of the rocker right here. We're giving you the top of the car. So you're gonna sitting looking down from the roof of the car. This is the back of the rocker here front of the rocker right here we're gonna go ahead and get this rocker top rocker top I like that rocker top all right so anyways we're gonna get ouch knee on the cord we're gonna get this rocker top fitted in there and you can see the bottom of this rocker top I've already painted it all black we put primer on it painted it put the paint on it to protect the metal and of course it's gonna get scratched up a little bit going in there but let's see how she initially fits before we go ahead and uh, get it cut down and it's gonna fit very tight very tight. What is going on up there? That's going to be an issue up there. We're going to have to spread that front apart a little bit. So, a little bit of an edge here. We're going to zip off. So, we're going to use a fancy dancing Harbor Freight tool here. Grind an edge off here. I'm going to the other grinder. <laughs> that tool is slick, I'm telling you what. talking now we're in business all right now all right let's give you guys a little bit of a look at the back here although i have to cut some of this height off right here on this rocker so i can get in there a little bit better and smack it that way can i get it in right now i can get a beetle on top at least tack or tack along the top anyways to get that in there um but i'm gonna pull this at least this now i want to get this forward i think i'm gonna leave it there there we go now i at least get a couple tacks on the top down a little bit right there i'm gonna flip this up a little bit and see if i can cut some of this out of here that's what I'm going to do, because this is just, I don't like the way this is fitting. If I open that up, I think I can cut some of this factor one out of here a little bit more and make that gap a little tighter. Hmm. 
just got to think of how I want to do it. Let's see. I can probably pry this up some more. There we go. I think we might have the troublesome piece out of the way. We bend this back down now. We bend this back in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that fits a lot better. It's a lot better. Nice. I can live with that. All right. Let's get this back up here. One last test fit before we pull her apart and prime everything. There we go. Get down it. Nice. Nice. Nice fit. Look at that. All right, I'm going to get them areas primed, come back at you when I'm done, and we'll come back when we start cutting this inner rocker and the uh, rocker top so we can get this thing welded in. They're here and they're freaking cool. Now is your chance to sport your very own Street Freaks Garage gear with hoodies, t-shirts, red cap shop shirts, and the very cool old school red cap club jacket. Beanies and caps are coming in soon, and don't forget, you get a free decal with each and every Street Freaks item ordered. Isn't it time to get your freak on? Order yours now. Let's see what we can do. That one's all done. This is all welded in front and excuse me, front and back. And I just got to go ahead and get all this area in here a little bit better yet where it comes up the slant. But I got to do that once I get this back cut off right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a line going from right there all the way down to right down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut both those layers of the rocker top and the in, inner rocker off and get those flush and nice and straight. Once I do that, I'll come back and tap this down flat and get it nice and smooth, wire brush it, and uh, I'll clean up the welds and um, go from there. All right, guys, we're back to recording here. We got this rocker top all welded in here all the way along, and you can see we welded right here to the inner rocker and also to the main body of the car. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grind these welds down right here, and then we will be done. We got the back ones here to grind, a little bit inside here, and the front one up by the front of the cowl and then this rocker top will be in and done and just one quick reminder just want to let you know that when you're grinding with a flap disc like a 40 grit flap disc like this one you see that that's a 40 grit flap disc they're really nice i love these things and we got these from benchmark abrasives you can see the name on them right here and they offer free things on facebook every now and then where you can do like a um I can't remember the code, but you do the code and you get like 10 flap disc assorted grits for like 10 bucks. You pay the shipping, which is 10 bucks. And a lot of people think it's a scam, but I'm here to tell you it's legit. It's a legitimate thing. And they are really nice wheels. And I found that a lot of the stuff that they have for grinding and cutting and sanding and all that stuff is actually pretty good prices. So... I'm definitely going to be going back to Benchmark Abrasives. I like the customer service. Uh, they take good care of you. 
and uh, I'll be definitely going back to them for more of these uh, flat discs as we get going. So I got a 40 grit on here right now, and um, I've run this thing sometimes without a guard on here, and it will come back and get you sometimes. And I can tell you, 40 grit sandpaper on a flat disc, it like goes through your skin like right now. There's no hesitation whatsoever, and it actually just takes out your speedway gloves too. If you don't catch it on the leather area, you can see it kind of catches it right there. And it kind of causes the finger to um, oh, leak a little bit. Um, so yeah, be very careful when you're using these without a, without a, a guard. Um, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, depending on the areas that we're doing. Right now we're using it without a guard, so I'm going to go ahead and grind this down. And it's probably going to get loud, but don't worry, I'll probably mute it up with some music or something. So here we go, let's get this down. Makes fast work on a grinding well is like really quick. I mean, this stuff really works. This, uh, these flat discs, I really like these better than even a grinding wheel for my, myself personally. All right, let's uh, get the handy dandy sander going. Hopefully, this belt don't whip off really right away. Yeah, that's what I thought. She's not adjusted correctly. All right, let's hit it. front now with the hit the front now with the heavier grit uh, flap disc and then we will come back and clean up any little ones with the little wheel and this does you know it does a pretty good job I mean it's not it's still tight to get in there but it does a decent job all right do some flap disc grinding a little hacking our fingers off All right, so next up here, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of uh, just a squirt of primer on here and a little squirt of primer on there. So I'll fetch primer and I shall probably get the flat uh, or the uh, um, angle grinder and hit that real quick and this one here a little bit just to get some primer on those areas. All right, another one of my favorite tools. Love this little thing. wiped off get some primer on this and should be good to go for a little while that dry a little bit we'll get another coat on there 
just to kind of get a preliminary look at what she's going to look like. I I got to say, I like that. I, I like that. I think it's looking pretty good. All right, guys, here we are today checking back in. Obviously, we have the uh, rocker tops that we made uh, fully installed, welded in. Uh, we got a bunch of dirt and debris down inside here right now, but disregard that. The pieces we made today are right down here at the back of the lower door. You can see right back here, this was all rotten down here. This whole bottom was bad. This was really bad um, all up through here um, and then down through here. So I'm going to go and do a little bit more touch up on here, grinding this down a little bit, cleaning this up, making that look really good um, on this side. So I'm going to take you around to the driver's side and show you the other one. We did the same thing. As a matter of fact, let me show you this. This is the section that we welded in of the uh, 18 gauge that we replaced down here. Okay. And again, we're going to go in here and hit this with primer in here um, to uh, get that all coated inside there. But a um, bunch of sand in here. Yeah, when the car was blasted, but I'll come up. But yeah, we welded this along the seam here, all the way along here, and uh, got some primer on it, and that is good to go. So let's take a quick walk around the driver's side. Here we are, driver's side. See this rocker top is all welded in and uh, coated and primed. This side also had the same problem. Um, over here, this was all bad right here. So we cut a piece here that's kind of L-shaped to go in. Again, got to go back, clean this all up really good. Make this look really nice. Maybe even some tough drip welds. We'll see how it goes on once it, see how it cleans up. This side over here, we clean this all up, welded this all down solid. A little piece of wire on there yet. And back here, we had to fold these flaps down and re-weld these shut because we had to get new nuts put inside there. Very common problem. These go bad inside here. So we cut them there and there, folded them up. Got those old nuts out, put brand new nuts in there, tack welded them in there. And now we're going to go up and we're gonna bend this bracket back down right here. Clean this all up really good. Grind these walls down really nice and smooth. Make them look nice inside there, even though it's covered up. I still want it to look good. So I'm going to go ahead and get some primer on this as well. And then this will all be done for that part. That's it. So that's it for now. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. And we will uh, keep you updated on the rest of the progress. So keep up to date with the Christine Project. And we'll talk to you soon, guys. Take care of yourselves. Peace out. And we'll have fun. Later.